Welcome and Count here from Magic Craft. Today we're going to create this lovely seasonal card. Let's go to the products I use. I'm going to use Versamark ink, embossing powder in Shimmering Night Sky, which is a beautiful glittery a blue uh, embossing powder. Some Versa Magic ink, and I have Aspen Mist, Sea Breeze, and a Gin Blue. So we're going to have three shades of blue. We're going to do a ombre effect with our background with these beautiful inks. I'm going to bring in a stencil. This is a British Monroe stencil and it's called dum, 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 Fallen Snow and I'm going to use that as well as the Let It Snow stamp set for our project today. And we're only going to use this big snowflake right here along with the sentiment which we will be embossing. Now the snowflake I went ahead and embossed off screen and I'll show it to you here in a second. I used this snowflake right there and I embossed it off screen because I did some fussy cutting. So I'm gonna show you really quickly. There it is. It's also with the same shimmering night sky embossing powder and I just fussy cut it all the way around. <clears throat> there are coordinating dies for this set but I do not have them. So I just went ahead and did that. Look at that beautiful, oops, sorry about that. Let me see if I pick it up. Here you go. Look at that beautiful shimmer and shine. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let me move this stamp set out of the way. Maybe that makes it a little easier. There you go. Beautiful. I love the shimmery embossing powder. All right, so the rest of our paper. Let's go over that really quick. I have a 110 pound card base. It's white and that's for our card. And then I have a 65 pound weight. Um, you can go 80 pound, even better, but this is what I had in hand. Light blue cardstock. And we're gonna trim the bottom off here in a minute, in a little, after we do our project. Then I'm gonna round our corner, our corners. I decided on all four. First I was just gonna do two, but I ended up with all four. So we're gonna um, stencil onto that blue cardstock. Then I have an extra piece of 110 pound a white card stock that we're going to do our sentiment on. All right, so that, like I said, this is lighter weight and this is heavier weight card stock right here. <clears throat> so let's jump into it. I'm going to emboss our sentiment. I'm using a little bit of anti static powder just so that we don't have any excess uh, embossing powder sticking to our, our card stock or my fingers, uh, fingerprints, or anything else. So I'm going to center my sentiment on there. I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to ink it up with our Versamark ink. Now this is a thick sentiment, like a thicker font, so I'm going to stamp it several times. Now Versamark ink is a nice sticky ink, so it's perfect to hold your embossing powder. You could also do it for tone on tone stamping, so it gives it a nice watermark type background. It's a really nice fun ink to use. Alright, so I'm going to sprinkle on my embossing powder. I'm going to shake off the excess and funnel it back into my container. I'll close it up and set it to the side. And now I'm going to heat set this. To heat set this, all you need is a heat tool. Make sure it's nice and hot. And then I heat from front to back and I do this back and forth just to minimize the warping. How do you know your embossing powder is set? It goes from a dull to a shiny. Now you're thinking, well, there's glitter in that. Yep, you're right. It'll just get even shinier. Now for our background, I have that light blue cardstock <clears throat> and the stencil. And I'm going to fuss with the stencil so I can lay it out how I, I would like it. And I'm going to go with this right here. So I'm going to create, <clears throat> excuse me, a gradient effect. So I have my ink sweeper here, and I'm just going to use one for this color family. And this is a nice big dauber. And I'm going to put on first the um, <clears throat> Aspen Mist right towards the top there. Then I'm going to move on to a Gian, uh blue. No, I'm sorry, that's Sea Breeze. <laughs> so it's Sea Breeze first, then Aspen Mist, and then I'm going to go to the Aegean Blue. Sorry about that mix up, but I'll have all the colors listed in the description box below. And I'm just going to go ahead and just push them right through the stencil. If by any chance you do not have our ink, large ink sweeper, you can use our finger daubers or go direct to through the stencil with your ink pads, like I did there just on the bottom. So 
So again, that was the sea breeze, aspen mist, and Aegean blue. Do a little quick cleanup. Look how easy that is to clean up with just a little bit of water. There's our completed background. It's not pretty, that soft, brighter blue to a medium blue to a nice darker blue. I'm going to trim off the excess to make sure that we have our panel fitting within our card. I want a nice white edge all the way around. Now I'm going to go ahead and round my corners. This is a corner rounder. I picked this up at a local box store, a big box store. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> round all my corners, bring in some tape to adhere this panel to our card base. Just put it in. I just did like a big giant Z because this card um, cardstock isn't very heavy and our tear tape is really strong and it'll hold it in place. I use a little foam dot here to hold our uh, embossed snowflake and I'm going to mess around. I'm trying to decide do I want it in the middle, do I want it in the upper corner and I just decide on the lower left hand corner right there. Now here's our sentiment, it's all heat set and ready to go. I'm going to trim it down and I go through this over and over just to make sure I like the size of it. Keep trimming. Once I get the how I want it, trim a little extra more off the each end, and then I'm going to fishtail the one end right here. Just quickly give that a quick little cut. I just cut in the center and then from each corner towards the center to create that little fishtail. I use some more foam adhesive, and I'm going to tuck that just underneath our snowflake. And you can call it done right here, but I'm just going to add a few little shimmery um, <clears throat> sequence to some of our snow center of our snowflakes. To do that, I bring in our on point glue, which is a liquid glue that dries clear. It comes out clear and it dries clear. So I'm going to add those to this little drop to each center of our snowflakes throughout and in our big snowflake that we have here. And I'm just going to add a little sequence in like a clear, a shimmery, it's like a glittery silver, and then I have a glittery blue that I will put on. Um, each of those little snowflakes. And that just has a nice fun uh, finishing touch. It's optional, you don't have to do that, of course. Once I have that, our card will be complete. <clears throat> just I find that last one right there. And look how beautiful. And I, like I said, I used the on point glue to adhere all our sequins. And I know they won't go anywhere because on point glue was beautiful to hold your sequence down. So I use our stamp and stencil uh, to create our, back, our card background. Our tear tape on point glue, Versamark ink, embossing powder in shimmering night sky. But I'll have everything listed for you in the description box below. Thank you for being here and I hope you found some inspiration.